guys, Joe Bauer here from the Seattle Investors Club, and I want to make this quick video for you, this tip of the day video, if you will, on how to schedule your weeks in advance so that you get the most done. And I'm also going to show you how I use themed days in order to even more increase that productivity. So um, as you can see right now, I have my calendar open and it's a Sunday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to fill in my days first of all with themes and then see what I can fit in there around it. And I understand that as we're real estate investors, we might have to go on big appointments and these things get adjusted and that's totally fine. We can totally adjust things and I'll show you how to do that as well. But first things first, I always start my day off with first off, I take my HRV or my recovery score. Then I do a priming exercise, which is kind of like breathing slash meditation. And depending on the day, I might have a, an ice, an ice shower, ice cold shower as well. And then I do my reading as I'm getting my coffee and, and whatnot ready in the morning, coffee, breakfast, whatever that may be. It's a whole nother story if we're getting into breakfast here, but we're gonna stay focused on productivity. Then I'm gonna start scheduling things. So for me, I use Mondays as my connection days. And that means that I'm gonna connect with people that I haven't either haven't connected before, or haven't connected for a while, or I just use it as a day that I'm gonna connect with people. So from, let's say we'll call it 9.30, to 11, I'm going to do connect with people on Facebook. I'm going to save that and I'm going to use that connect with people on Facebook. And I just know that I'm only going to have productivity for about an hour, maybe two hours max at a time. So I don't think it makes sense to schedule yourself for more than that. And you should get up and walk around in between those. So I know that I might have some food around 11 a.m. and then I'm going to get back to it at 11.30. And so from that time, I'm going to go and schedule another block. And this is going to be uh, connect on email. So I should also note that my email is closed unless I'm using a connection on email tab here or, or time block. And then at the end, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go post to social media. Okay. Which is also a part of connecting with people. So, so people will reach out to you if you connect with them. And then I know that as you can see every day I have the workouts planned already and those stay pretty much the same, but sometimes things will change, right? And you'll have to go and move them around. So this day is going to be marketing. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and review marketing. All right, and then I'm going to see if I need to set up any more marketing. So, whoops, let me just take this, set up new marketing. All right, and that could be anything that you have to set up, right? It could be uh, direct mail campaigns, it could be Facebook campaigns, it could be YouTube campaigns, whatever that may be. It could be that you have to order more bandit signs. You're just basically going through and getting those things done. And then I'm going to go ahead and go like this again. We'll just do an hour today. Uh, check email. All right. And then from there, maybe I'm going to have a meeting or something like that before I get into it. Some of the days, even though it's a marketing day, you're not going to necessarily have the full day that you spend on that marketing particular thing. So Wednesdays is actually the day that I set up particularly for my phone calls and my meetings. So I have this set up. This is what it, my normal day would look like is I usually have a standing mastermind from 12.30 to about 2. So I have a mastermind there. And then I have a accountability call Oops, at around 11, but that one only goes for a half, oops, a half an hour. So there we go. All right. And then this is set up usually for meeting time. So I might have coffee with somebody here and I almost always try and schedule it for that particular time. And then you could fill in, uh, I actually usually have another call that I have scheduled here and it's actually there okay and it's usually only half an hour so that's what that day looks like 
All right. This day for me, Thursdays, is a creative day. So this is when we record podcasts, when we do videos. Uh, it's the scheduled time that we have to get that done. So do a couple of podcasts, um, but I'll just block that out from right here. Podcast. And then I actually do some writing usually here. So it's a full creative day. But let's go here. There's that. And then I usually leave Fridays for catch all. So I don't schedule anything. I might have some of this podcast writing stuff that falls in there. I might have to do some videos. You never really know what you're going to have to do. It's my catch all day. And then typically we'll have family and friend time that's going to be on Saturdays and Sundays. But like I said, right now uh, I'm working and usually I actually, my work week ends up being that I might take Friday and Saturday off and I work a lot on Sunday. I just love working when other people are not working. That I don't know why I can feel it in the air how that happens. But let's say, for example, that you have an appointment that comes up and the only time that they can go on the appointment is your podcast time. All right, that's fine. You might just go here, big appointment. So you're just going to take that big appointment. Let's say they can do 11 a.m. So you're going to put it right at 11 a.m. Then you can either take your podcast time and you can split it up uh, before and after, or you could say, well, I'm going to work on Friday now on the podcast. There you go. And that would move around. And maybe you could figure out another appointment there. But you just plan it. You get it done. You put all this in here. And you have also, you have it set up. So when you click in here, there are notifications. So I like to set my notifications up. Uh, for 10 minutes before so I have I would have all of them set up 10 minutes before just a notification I don't need an email notification but I would save that and I would go through it and you can set the defaults on these so that they have them every 10 minutes so that's how I set up my week every single Sunday well I should note that on these Sundays what I do is I have a weekly review every single Sunday and what that does is I'll go through here and I'll make sure that I have this at 10, no email needed. And I'm going to repeat this weekly on Sunday. So I save it and there's my week review, weekly review and that's what I'm gonna schedule my whole week. So I hope this was helpful. I know it was a little bit long winded, but I, I think that I've talked with so many people about setting this up and it helps me to be way more productive than I am or than, than I have been in the past. And I highly recommend that you do it as all or do it as well. On a side note, make sure that you take these emails and you schedule the times that you're gonna check your email. I know I didn't schedule it for these days, but it's always gotta be scheduled. Don't leave that thing open. All right guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you check out seattleinvestorsclub.com and I will see you on the next one. <laughs>